Hello and welcome to the Met Office 10 Day Trend. June 2023 is turning out to be quite a remarkable month. 20 days in and the average UK temperature is currently running at more than half a degree above the previous record warmest June. But it's only 20 days in and there's still 10 days to go. As we'll see in the next five to 10 minutes, a lot can change in 10 days. Certainly it's a humid weather pattern at the moment, an unstable weather pattern at the moment with the jet stream a weak affair but running to the south of the UK, drawing up some humid air from the south and with a slack area of low pressure close by, also some thunderstorms. Wednesday and Thursday, both seeing a mixture of sunny spells and hit and miss showers and thunderstorms across the UK. But the weather patterns are changing and the reason being the weather situation over the North American continent at the moment. A heat dome is what they're calling it across Mexico and into Texas. Some remarkably hot air there, pushing the jet stream well to the north. But at the same time, we've got this cold air coming uh, south across northern Canada. And that cold air combined with the hotter air further south is going to energize the jet stream. This portion of the jet stream coming out of North America, eventually coming our way, but also interacting with the jet stream coming through the Atlantic there. And the jet stream, as a result, no longer a weak affair by the end of the week, a bit more active, which is fairly typical for this time of year to get a bit more activity in the jet stream, but also increasingly affecting the weather across the northern half of the UK, sending weather fronts in from the Atlantic. Meanwhile, as that happens, higher pressure builds across the south. And so really, as we head into the weekend, there's going to be this uh, northwest southeast gradient across the UK. And these weather fronts in the northwest of the UK will increasingly bring spells of rain. And so for Western Scotland, Northern Ireland, into Cumbria, North and West Wales, there will be some outbreaks of rain at times on Friday. The heaviest and most persistent wet weather will be across southwest Scotland, Cumbria as well, over the hills, 50 millimetres or more. Shouldn't cause too many issues because of course it's been dry for a long time in many of these areas and we do need the rain for Western Scotland. So we're going to see spells of rain across northern and northwestern areas in particular, the rainfall enhanced by the higher ground towards the northwest. And that continues into the weekend as well. These weather fronts tending to move up from the southwest towards the northeast. So they're not really going to push southwards. And that means that we'll see spells of rain interspersed by showery conditions, perhaps some thunderstorms for Northern Ireland on Saturday, for example. But staying dry across the southern half of the UK. Really, it's across Mid Wales, the Midlands, southwards, where it's predominantly going to stay dry and increasingly sunny through Saturday and into Sunday. And with this high pressure, light winds and the mild airflow coming up from the southwest, temperatures are going to rise. Here's a look at the temperatures in detail over the next few days. They're going to creep up day by day with the solar insulation and also the higher pressure and the uh, fairly warm airflow coming up from the south and southwest. And as a result, up and down the country, actually, temperatures are above average on Friday, even where it's raining. But it's towards the southeast where those temperatures are really going to build into the weekend. 30 degrees, 31 Celsius possible towards the southeast, mid to high 20s across much of England and Wales, low to mid 20s for parts of Scotland and Northern Ireland. Increasingly breezy towards the northwest actually through the weekend as well, so quite strong winds for the, for the northwest of Scotland accompanying the spells of rain but the winds are coming from a warm direction. Then you'll notice a change in the temperatures by Sunday across northern and western parts of the country. Some cooler conditions arriving here, but the heat continues to intensify towards the southeast. Again, 30 or 31 Celsius possible. Well above average for the time of year, to just to give you an impression of what the average is for London in June. It's uh, an average maximum of about 21 degrees. We're talking 30, 31 degrees for a few days in a row. Not just daytime temperatures, these are the overnight temperatures, so it will start to feel increasingly uncomfortable by night. This is London. Heading into the weekend, those overnight temperatures, minimum temperatures, back into the high teens, 19 or possibly 20 Celsius for Saturday morning and into Sunday morning, still the high teens. Likewise for Glasgow, it's looking like temperatures will head up into the high teens overnight. This is the typical daytime maximum temperature average for June for Glasgow, so well above average for nighttime. But some relief there, even if they do stay above average for the start of next week. Some fresher air 
is arriving uh, behind this cold front. Now this is Sunday's pressure pattern and it looks likely that a fairly active cold front will move in from the west. We keep the heat and the sunshine for one more day in the southeast on Sunday, but further north and west, we've got this band of rain moving in. Thundery spells of rain, perhaps, for the northern half of the UK. Some very lively weather, some gusty winds associated with the front as well. But further south, it's a narrow band of rain, so it moves through quickly. Quite lively weather on it, but as it moves through, well, it does clear the air. And then, We've got this cooler airflow, but still fairly widely temperature, still a little above average for the start of next week. And I think for Monday itself, a ridge of high pressure builds in. And for many, it's a fine day, perhaps clouding over with some outbreaks of rain into the far northwest later. But otherwise, Monday's a largely fair day across the country, but it will feel a bit fresher compared with the heat and humidity of the weekend and certainly a bit more comfortable for sleeping at night. And actually, if you take a look at the pressure pattern for the start of next week, you can identify what's coming next through the first few days of next week. Initially, Monday's a fine day, but then this weather front's likely to move across the UK from the west on Tuesday. A kind of repeat performance of Sunday's weather, a fairly active uh, band of rain moving through, but a, a narrow affair and some gusty winds on it. And then that introduces, again, cooler conditions as we go into the uh, middle of next week. Now ahead of that, I must say on Tuesday, the potential for some warmth in the southeast and some sunshine. But as that moves through on Wednesday, the jet stream pushes to the south of the UK again. And that means quite a number of showers, especially towards the southeast actually, where there could be some thunderstorms once again on Wednesday. And once the jet streams to the south of the UK, really, we're back into this more changeable weather. In fact, um, a uh, professor called Hubert Lamb many years ago analysed 100 years of weather patterns across the UK to see if any of these weather patterns repeated themselves. And what he found was that at the end of June, we often see something called a return of the westerlies. The westerlies and the jet stream are notably weak through May and the start of June. That's what we've certainly seen this year. But so often you see the return of a more active jet stream and these westerly winds for the second half of June. And that's kind of how it looks for the mid to latter half of next week, which is really well illustrated by this uh, probability bar plot. Now, what this shows, uh, there are eight different weather patterns coloured in different colours, and the probability, shown on the y-axis there, for each day going out to the next two weeks. And what we're seeing over the weekend is this light blue colour, and that's a low pressure to the northwest of the UK with a southwesterly airflow. So that's what we're seeing through the weekend. But then these darker blues take over through the middle to the latter half of next week. And that would indicate a weather pattern that looks a bit more like this. Low pressure, more over the north of the UK and a westerly airflow. Now, what that would mean is that we're going to see spells of unsettled weather, quite breezy at times from the middle to the latter half of next week, and spells of rain. The wettest weather would be towards the northwest, so western Scotland in particular. Of course, we need the rain there. Drier towards the southeast, but not entirely dry because some weather fronts will move through. There'll be some showers as well. So changeable weather returning. And with that westerly airflow rather than the southwesterly, certainly cooler than we're seeing at the weekend. But... At the moment, sea temperatures surrounding the UK and Ireland are well above average, four to five degrees above average in some spots. And so even though we've got these westerly winds, which would be cool for the time of year, they're coming off remarkably warm seas. So perhaps not quite as cool as they would be in another more typical June as far as sea temperatures are concerned. And of course, with that warmth in the sea, that could add fuel to any rainfall that's coming through from the west as well. Just to show you the temperature trend, this is for a midpoint of the UK, and uh, this shows the uh, trend and the uncertainty for different days going out to the next two weeks for the red max daily maximum temperatures and the blues, which show uh, daily minimum, overnight minimum temperatures. The blue line there is the average and the red line is the average by a day. And you can see the well above average temperatures by day and by night through the weekend. And then this trend downwards by the end of next week back towards average. But there is uh, every chance that temperatures will remain a little above average, especially towards the southeast 
uh, because we'll see a greater chance of sunshine in the southeast. And uh, as I mentioned, those sea temperatures may contribute to uh, above average temperatures as well. So end of June, start of July, this fairly strong signal for low pressure to the north, spells of rain, especially towards the northwest, wettest for Western Scotland, drier towards the southeast, but still some rain or showers here at times, breezy and cooler than it is at the moment. How long will that return to the westerlies continue? Well, the signs are perhaps not that long. Signals are quite muted actually after that first weekend of July, but you can see the peak of these blues, the blues generally indicate low pressure close to the UK, that occurs around the first weekend of July. And then this downward signal with these reds starting to take a bit more prominence on this plot. But as you can see, all sorts of options for later in June. But there is that signal that things may turn a bit more settled once again after that first weekend in Ju July. No strong signals either way, but we'll keep you updated. It might be that the return to Westerlies doesn't last that long and it might be that that cooler air doesn't stop June 2023 from being a truly remarkable month. We'll keep you updated on all of that of course you can follow those updates online.